When someone has done wrong to you, and then they realize they did wrong to you, and they come to you and say, please forgive me. And you say, no, it's okay, no problem. Fine, you're forgiven. How many times did they say forgive me? Once, isn't it? They came to you as a human being, please forgive me, I was wrong, I shouldn't have done it. Really, I feel I regret it, I won't do it again. You say, no, it's okay, not to mention. And then a week later, they see you in the masjid, for example, or somewhere else, a brother, salam alaikum, hey, just, just forgive me, man. But you already said it once, you were already forgiven. Why did you repeat it? Because you're feeling embarrassed, number one. Not because you're doubting that they have forgiven you, but you're just a bit embarrassed. Hey, I shouldn't have done this. And another thing is, let's say, no, nah, not to mention, come on, it's okay. When you see them a third time, a year later, for example, hey, I feel so bad. You know what I did was so wrong. Say, hey, listen, don't even mention, don't talk about it. But you've repeated it thrice already. Is it because you're doubting that they've forgiven you? No. It's because of your remorse and it's because you feel that you really did something you were not supposed to. So you become in greater favor with that particular person because you realize I need to make up for what bad I've done with good. And the Quran repeats this when it comes to Allah because Allah's example is higher. Allah says good deeds will wipe out bad deeds. You want to see your bad deeds wiped out will increase your good deeds and automatically they will be wiped out. When I feel bad that I did something to a human and I've already asked them forgiveness so many times every time I saw them, I would do another thing. I'd try and do good for them. Someone mentions them, you have a good word to say. Today, someone sent me an email and said, such and such a scholar said something about you, about me. And he is like this and he is like that. I replied immediately. I said, that is a senior scholar of the Muslim Ummah. Please do not mention any negatives about that person because it brings pain to my heart to hear that it's okay what they've said about me. That's fine. But what is even worse is what you've said about them. What's the idea? The idea is do good to people. What does it cost you? So what if they did bad to you? That is the quality of the prophets. Do good to those who did bad to you. Why? I am preparing for the day I want to meet with Allah. Didn't we say today we're talking about healing in that way? You want to heal, you need to seek forgiveness and learn how to forgive others. Without that, you will not heal. There's no healing without seeking forgiveness and learning to forgive others.